Hey guys, it's Brayden here, aka Gypsy, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be discussing binding in South Africa. I will discuss the two main ways that you can bind, which is either with a binder or with tape. I will also discuss the type of tape that I have been using uh, that I found has been working the best for me. I will also discuss exercise while you're binding, and then last but not least, I will give you a tip on removing and aftercare uh, when you do use this tape. Let's get into it. Before we begin with that, I do feel the need to tell you guys, please bind safely. There are a lot of guys that I have seen that uses a duct tape. Um, this is not healthy for your skin. This is not healthy for you to use. I have seen guys that use uh, ace bandages. Uh, these are not good for you, especially when you tape all around your body. If it is too tight, eventually it can damage your organs. It can damage your ribs. Um, so guys, please do not, do not bind that way. With that, Please, when you do bind with tape, don't ever bind all the way around your body um, because, like I said, you know, it's a lot of compression on your ribs and it is not healthy for you. So the first way to bind is a binder. Uh, a binder is like a very tight compression vest. Um, you either get them in half or you can get them in full body. They also come in a lot of different colors. Um, whatever is your choice, um, you will be able to get. One of the most popular companies to do these binders are then, of course, GC2B. I will leave their link down below so you can check out their website um, if you would like to order your binders from them. Obviously, they are a UK-based company, so for me, I wanted to order a binder from someone who was in South Africa. So when I was looking for a company based in South Africa that does binders, there was literally only one person I could come down to, and they are FTM binders. She sells these binders in black and white, and I do believe that she sells them in half and full binders. Um, she actually has quite a, a bit of different uh, supplies that she sells. I will leave her link down below, and you can go check out her website. Uh, she's got her size charts there, and then she's got everything that she sells as well. This is the black half binder that I got from her on my birthday, actually, and which was very, very nice of her to do. Um, I actually bought a white one, which was my first one that I bought from her. And um, these binders really, really helped me. And I still wear the black one whenever I can bind with tape. If you would like to buy from a local supplier, um, please go to FTM Binders and go check out uh, their website and see if there's anything you'd like. So the next way to bind definitely became uh, the one way to bind that I love and hate. There is a reason why I love it because it works uh, the best and the reason I hate it is because it can leave scars and you know it's just really an irritation to remove every time. So when I googled the first time how to bind my chest with tape, I did come across the fact that a lot of guys like to use KT tape. Personally, KT tape is not really my choice. Um, number one, it is one of the most expensive brands in South Africa and um, there are other brands that I prefer that work better. So before I'm going to show you the brand that I uh, finally came across working the best for me, I am going to show you a roll of tape that I bought before that. So this is the roll of tape that I bought before that and I'm not really sure whether or not you will be able to see the type of material it is. I do believe that this is like a surgical kind of tape so this is not meant to stretch or move with your body. This will literally remove your skin guys please do not buy this tape. So the brand that I decided on uh, is LB tape um, so they actually look like this 
and then this is the five centimeter by five centimeter tape so this is the average normal size tape that everyone buys um, you get them in black and you will get them in beige uh, they come in red pink blue whatever your color is I personally do have a big chest so the five centimeter by five centimeter didn't work for me so uh, eventually I came across the fact that they actually stock a 7.5 centimeter by 5 centimeter um, which is a little bit broader so this is what it looks like unfortunately they only come in blue and they only come in red in South Africa we don't have Walmart um, so our Walmart is the scam so you will get this tape from Discam. these ones I believe are 150 bucks a roll and then the broader one are 200 bucks a roll so I normally use about a roll in a month maybe a month and a half so doing sport and going to the gym I tried to uh, use my binder when I went to the gym for the first year I think um, the biggest problem that you have when you use your binder while you are in the gym is that you never really truly have a full range of motion because of the fact that it is so tight against your body that you can never really move freely. I personally have never tried uh, to use my binder while I was doing CrossFit. Um, CrossFit is a very very intense uh, sport. Um, I do not recommend that you wear a binder whenever you do intense cardiovascular exercises like that. I have however seen that some guys like to use an older um, stretched uh, binder so that it doesn't really sit that tight. So if you have an older one and it is a lot more loose than the current one that you're wearing every day, uh, you can use that one um, if you feel comfortable breathing in it and if you do have full range of motion. So because I didn't want to use my binder when I was exercising or when I was gymming, um, that is actually when I decided to start using uh, tape to bind my chest. So the best thing about binding uh, with tape, if you are someone that is active or you're someone that it said, you know, if you're just adventurous, um, is number one, that it is a sport tape. So it is made to endure sunlight. It is made to endure water. Um, it is made to last up to seven days on your body. I normally personally only keep it on for uh, six days then I remove it on the seventh day and then the day after that I will bind again. So before I dive into that bonus point that I promised you, I feel the need to share with you guys the cons that there is when uh, it comes to binding with tape. So yes, binding with tape is the best option. I have been binding with tape for over a year and a half now and I will keep binding with tape. But I do believe that a lot of guys don't share the cons with you. Um, because it is not the fun part. So if you're binding with tape for long periods of time, you have to remember that at the bottom of your skin underneath your arm is probably one of the most sensitive parts of your skin on your body. So at the end of the day, um, the more you use this tape, the more irritated your skin is going to become and it'll start to itch. It doesn't always itch, but it'll itch occasionally and when you do scratch, it's going to make blisters and then eventually on the sixth day or the fifth day, whenever you feel the need to take the tape off, um, it might take some of the skin off with it. So there is that. It's not always that way. Um, it's not the same way for everyone. Um, but that is the personal experience that I have had with tape so far. The other con of binding with tape is that it's a regular expense. It is not like uh, buying your binder and you can wear your binder for the next two or three years. You have to buy a new roll of tape every month or month and a half. It depends on how much tape you use. So right now we're going to dive into that final tip that I promised you guys on removal and aftercare when you do bind with tape. So tip number one, um, when it is time for you to remove your tape, guys, please do not try to remove this tape in the shower. Um, the fact that you are in a shower will just encourage you to try and remove the tape quicker um, because out of personal experience 
you cannot spend 20 minutes in a shower, your mother will kill you. Tip number two is run yourself a bath um, about halfway full and um, you know just soak for about uh, two to three minutes. Uh, I use uh, Johnson's baby oil to remove my tape so I normally just buy a small one like this. So when you do apply the baby oil leave it on for about maybe four to five minutes uh, while you're soaking in the water as well. About after let's say uh, five minutes or so, uh, you can start to remove the tape slowly. So what I found, what works for me, is to start to remove my tape from the back. Um, because first of all, this is the first place that comes loose. So because I am bigger chested, I re start removing from the back to the front because this area doesn't hurt as much anyway as these parts. So when I'm finished with my bath, I will apply cream under my arms um, and then obviously over the rest of my chest as well. So the cream that I use is a Skin Clinic, uh, which is a vitamin E uh, based cream. I do believe that you can use any type of cream as long as it is vitamin E based because the whole purpose of this cream is to repair the skin where you have just taken off your tape. I used to use Nivea. Um, the vitamin E one as well and it worked just as well this one is just a little bit cheaper it is about 30 bucks at discount so guys what is it that you prefer do you prefer binding with a binder or do you prefer binding with tape if it is a binder uh, where do you buy your binders and if it is tape what type of tape what brand of tape do you prefer Go ahead and leave your comments down below. So guys, that wraps it up for this video. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Remember to click on that bell and make sure that we do not miss each other. So guys, that wraps it up for this video. Please remember to subscribe.